Good morning. Today is the Feast of the Nativity of St John the Baptist. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. As we prepare to celebrate these holy mysteries together, we remember those things that we have done wrong, and those things that we should have done but failed to do, those imperfections in our lives. And we pray our Heavenly Father to forgive us. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against, against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent of mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God whose servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born to fulfil your purpose by preparing the way for the advent of your Son. Lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example. Constantly to speak the truth, boldly rebuke vice, and patiently suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 to 11 Comfort ye, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry and I said what shall I cry all flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the field the grass withers the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it surely the people is grass the grass withers the flower fades but the word of our God will stand forever Get you up to a high mountain, O herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength. O herald of good tidings to Jerusalem, lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A 
Psalm 85 verses 7 to the end. The response is, show us, O Lord, your mercy. Show, show us, O Lord, Lord, your mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Show, show us, us, O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly, his salvation is near to those who fear him, and his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Show, Show us, us, O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps on the way. Show, Show us, us, O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. verses 16 to 26. Men of Israel and fearers of God, listen, the God of our nation Israel chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then by divine power he led them out and for about 40 years took care of them in the wilderness. When he had destroyed seven nations in Cana, he put them in possession of their land for about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges, down to the prophet Samuel. Then they demanded a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years, he deposed him and made David their king, of whom he approved in these words, I have selected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. That one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. My brothers, sons of Abraham's race, and all you who fear God, this message of salvation is meant for you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came to bear witness to the light. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O oh, Lord. The time came for Elizabeth to be delivered and she gave birth to a son. And her neighbours and kinsfolk heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they would have named him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said, Not so. He shall be called John. And they said to her, None of your kindred is called by this name. And they made signs to his father, inquiring what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet, and he wrote, His name 
is John. And they all marvelled. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed and he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbours. And all these things were talked about throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, O, o Christ. Christ. On our regular visit to Venice, Celia and I always attend Mass at the Church of St. Zacharias in Castello. And being staunch Anglicans, Church of England to the core, we do what Anglicans always do. Every time we go there, we sit in the same pew, which we've come really to regard as our own. It's right next to the tomb of St Zachariah, he's just to the right of us. And his 2,000 year old remains are visible through a window part way up the wall. And I can't help thinking just how proud he must have been at the birth of his son. I mean, he was an old man, he hadn't expected to be blessed by this, by this event, so he must have been tremendously proud, as proud as any new father of a new baby. For this lad was marked out as very special from his very conception. Perhaps St John is more easily remembered for his death when King Herod had him beheaded at the behest of his stepdaughter and then had his head brought in on a platter. But it is his birth that is kept by the church as a solemnity, for it signalled the end of the Old Testament era and the beginning of the new covenant, the new covenant between God and humanity in the person of Jesus Christ. Now John followed his own special path. He didn't follow his elderly father's footsteps by becoming a priest in the Jerusalem temple. Instead, he went off into the desert in order to devote himself more fully to God and prepare himself to be the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. As an adult, John embraced his call to prepare the people of Israel for the arrival of Jesus, his cousin. He challenged injustice and he challenged immorality, and he used tough words. But at the same time, he was rather a man of contradictions, at the same time, he offered God's loving forgiveness and a second chance to all who were willing to step into the Jordan to be baptised. His personal humility and his deep commitment to his vocation were perhaps his most striking features and when people began to wonder if he were the long-awaited Messiah, he dismissed their speculations and he pointed them towards Jesus. Today, St John holds a very special place in the church, a place of honour. Acknowledged as the last of the prophets, standing as he does on the watershed between the Old and the New Testaments, he is more importantly the precursor, the forerunner, the one who went ahead to prepare the way for Jesus and his kingdom. The fourth gospel, St John's, describes him as a man sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light that all might believe through him. John's example of faith should inspire us all. Inspire us all to prepare the way of the Lord in our world. To be ones sent by God as witnesses to the light so that many might come to believe. 
our vocation, like St John's, is to challenge injustices, the many injustices of our times, the poverty, the racism and so on. It's our, our vocation to subvert any popular customs that detract and distract from God. And it's our vocation to embrace the Christian life to which we have been called and to all, do all we can to point people towards Jesus. Jesus, the only source of true life. And now let us pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised to hear the prayers of those who ask in faith. Hear us now, we ask you, as we come to you in the faith of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant our petitions and our requests. Hear us as we come to you in all humility, praying for grace that we may fulfil our vocations as Christians. And so we pray for the Church, that your Holy Spirit may rest upon her, and that she may prepare the way of the Lord, faithfully proclaiming the word of Jesus Christ, the only source of salvation. We pray for our own church in Clevedon, for Trevor, our parish priest, Nicola, our church warden, and all who serve you in in that fellowship. Strengthen Peter and Ruth, our bishops, and all your church in the service of Christ, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our country, and for those who are directing us in this present crisis, we pray that all may be kept safe and that right decisions may be taken. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority. Direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace that all may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. We pray your blessing, Lord, upon those whom we love and those who love us. We give thanks for family and friends from whom we have been separated for so long by this period of isolation and shielding. We pray that love may continue to grow and that those bonds of love may be strengthened. Give grace to us, our families and friends and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body mind or spirit and we especially pray for all those whom we know who need our prayers the sick and the suffering at home or in hospital those who are finding their present conditions to be mentally challenging we pray too for all those who seek to serve the needs of others in the community or in hospital. We pray for doctors and nurses and physicians and, sur physicians and surgeons and all who work 
in the health service. We give thanks for their courage. We pray that they may be protected and know that they are loved. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. And especially remember all those whom we love but see no more. Who worship you still but upon another shore. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. And rejoicing in the fellowship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John the Baptist, St John the Evangelist, our patron, and all your saints, we commend ourselves and all people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept Please these pray. prayers for, for the, the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life and the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks for the hope which you call us in your son. That following in the faith of St John the Baptist and all your saints we may run with perseverance the race that is set before us and with them receive the unfading crown of glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of power and might, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory, Lord, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine, may be the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, <clears throat> and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Blessed Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St John the Baptist, and St John the Evangelist, our patron, and all the saints, May praise and glorify you for ever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and sought us, we are bold to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. And so draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died and lives for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declares your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us in this hope that we have grasped, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow St John the Baptist and all his saints in faith, and hope and love, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Mass is over. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day.